to order and ask the clerk to please call the roll. Commissioner Waldridge. Here. Present. Mr. Tippett. Here. Commissioner Wisman. Present. Commissioner Sauer. Here. Mayor May. Here. Uh, we do have a quorum present. Um, I was told by the city attorney that we do have two citizen comments. Is that correct? Okay. Um, so if those could be read, please, we would appreciate it. You want me to go ahead and read those, Laura? Oh. <clears throat> the first citizen's comment is from David Hecker. And it says, other than the final vote, well, regarding agenda item number two, appointment of an interim city manager. Other than the final vote, no information has been provided to the public surrounding the dismissal of the city manager. At a time when the ability of citizen involvement in the government process is severely limited, it is very disheartening the way Monday's meeting unfolded. The magnitude of the situation is heightened given we are in the middle of a pandemic, plans for parcels B and C are still being developed in the upcoming election in November, which will greatly change the makeup of the board of the commissioners. Public perception of this personnel action has created a huge problem for city government. This might be a good opportunity for a public relations strategy. And that was from David Hecker. Mm -hmm. I have one more, uh, one more from Mike Fitzpatrick. And uh, he says, I would like to ask the board of commissioners if the position of interim city manager will require the same qualifications as for previous city managers. Specifically, will the individual have to have a combination of education and experience equivalent to a bachelor's degree in public administration, master's preferred, and at least seven years of increasingly responsible local government management experience gained in a community similar with similar complexity to Frankfurt? Will he or she be required to have expertise in budget and finances, intergovernmental and community relation, redevelopment and economic development? Thank you, Mike Fitzpatrick. All right, thank you so much. Uh, and I wanna go ahead and make a quick statement to, the, to that. Um, we appreciate folks providing uh, these comments. We, we all understand that um, the action that we took Monday is something that has a lot of people wondering uh, what the term without cause means. And that certainly doesn't mean that there weren't reasons that commissioners and I may have had to take the action that we took. Uh, the term without cause is a legal term and it's also in accordance with uh, a contract that we do have with city managers. And uh, people need to understand too, sometimes that commissioners and I have access to information that the public uh, does not have. And would say that most of the time when uh, I think about that, you know, most people, reasonably people would look at some of this uh, information and, and probably most would come to the same conclusion. And you know, as mayor, I have a fiduciary duty to serve a four year term, not three years and seven months. I will work up until the last day of my term of office. I've made that commitment. That was the office I was sworn into. And that's the commitment that I have. And I will continue to serve with fierce integrity and openness as I always have. And uh, I would at this point ask the city attorney to give a little bit more information about what that term without cause means and some of the other legal reasons why the commission and I are, are prohibited uh, and advised not to talk about specific uh, personnel issues. So uh, city attorney, Ms. Ross, could you, do you mind uh, providing a little bit more information on that? Please? Sure, I'm happy to. And, and I know this is a lot of legalese um, that, that sometimes gets in the way and is, is difficult to understand. I, I completely get that. Um, there are, per the contract, a lot of times at, at a higher level of uh, public employment, such as with the city manager or others in that high level, you will have an employment contract that gives you additional rights, additional benefits. It gives you options for um, how you might leave the city, whether it's termination, resignation, or anything else. 
that protect uh, your integrity, that uh, provide you know certain benefits that you that you might not otherwise be entitled to. And so there were, I think I can say this with with no concern, there were a couple of possibilities for termination of a city manager when we looked to contract in the law. One of them was without cause. What that does is it avoids any discussion of issues um, that might be. It's saying we are not firing you for a certain cause. We are not doing that. A lot of times it's when it's a fundamentally um, it's a fundamental difference in um, administrative strategy or, or philosophy. So it is uh, something that allows the process to move forward more cleanly. It is something that is contractually agreed upon as an option. Is that helpful, Mayor? Well, I'm sure people are still going to have questions. And again, it's something that um, I can tell you in my time as mayor, you know, we've uh, had to make a lot of tough decisions. Uh, this is one certainly that wasn't taken lightly uh, a lot of thought went into it and, and it's always painful to to come to this type of uh, conclusion to take such action and it, it's something that uh, makes it very hard for me being a compassionate uh, and uh, person has a lot of empathy for others uh, there's a lot of a lot of things that we have to think about that and we have to make tough decisions sometimes and and it's not something that uh, I can't speak for others, but something that, that I don't take lightly, and it, it's not something that, that I take any any uh, uh, pleasure in in any way, shape, or form. But sometimes we have to make tough management decisions that are uh, best for the organization and the community as a whole. And to go back to our sworn fiduciary duty, uh, sometimes we just have to make tough decisions. And of course, anytime we take a personal action such as this, it's always a tough thing. So uh, that doesn't mean that. Uh, it's something that is that is easy. So, uh, Commissioner Wall, do you have your hand? Did you want to do anything related? Yeah, I did. To, um, uh, comments? Yeah, I just had a couple of comments toward uh, some of the comments that came in. I guess so. I just it sort of went with sort of I guess Michael. I believe that's who was. Um, but I just wanted to share. Um, you know, Mayor and Commission. You know, given the situation of the unexpected dismissal of our amazing immediate past city manager keith parker i believe in the best interest of the city that making this decision of city, the of the interim city manager is thoughtfully carried out to keep our projects moving forward and meeting all deadlines of our projects as well as we'll need someone who can communicate effectively with all staff community, commissioners, and you, Mayor. Also one with city planning and experience and understanding and full knowledge of all Frankfurt projects to be able to keep them moving forward on a timely basis as well as meeting those deadlines. So we do not go uh, and meet, you know, and fall under those deadlines. So at this time, I make the motion to name Eric Cockley the new interim city manager until the new commission is then suggested by the community, voted in by the community for them to hire a new city manager. Okay, um, Ms. Ross, would the motion be in order? We're not into, we're to under uh, citizen comments at this time. I'm uh, under the time, but I just wanna make sure. I, I think that it is in order, Mayor. I think okay. I think that it is. All right. Well, is there a second? All right. I don't think there's going to be a second, so uh, that motion will die for lack of a second. All right. Oh, next item is the agenda items. Um, uh, please let me remind commissioners too that um, our, our rules of procedure. Uh, require following the, the, the quorum. So I'd ask, a reminder to everyone to please, uh, if you're not familiar with those, review them again. And remember that we are in a government deliberation, deliberation right now and we act uh, accordingly. Thank um, you, Mayor. You're welcome. Um, I was in order. Next item is, uh, uh, first item is, uh, Actually, my agenda is not on the screen. Uh, first item is uh, Ms. Ross, what's the first item on the screen? Being typed. 
uh, to consider the appointment of an interim city manager. That is the actual first item and we'll need a motion if you'd like to go into closed session. Lieutenant, can we do yeah. other things first on the uh, item two and three would be the uh, approval of the payment for the CAD system and number three would be the agreement with UK for the internship program with uh, Frankfurt Police Department. And the reason these are on the agenda, this was supposed to be a meeting only to talk about the city manager issue. I was contacted yesterday afternoon by city staff that uh, we needed signatures immediately to finalize the purchase order for the CAD system and also that due to UK's uh, class schedule, they needed to get the internship agreement back immediately before, and that would be before our next meeting. And so the city attorney had advised that I could sign those through my executive powers under the emergency. But we decided that since it's a 200 plus thousand dollar contract and the others, we would just go ahead. I, my suggestion was let's just put it on the agenda for today. And that would that would be the only two items that we put on there. So if there's any if there's no objection, can we take those two issues uh, quickly, please? I agree, Mayor. OK, anyone else? OK, so anyone Mayor. would like to Mayor. Uh, uh, are we required to take both issues separately? Uh, they do not need to be read. We can take them jointly. Okay. They seem to be pretty perfunctory. They seem to be perfunctory to me. So, so let's make let's have a motion that that includes both those items and move on. Okay. Is that are you making that form of motion, Commissioner? Tudor? Yes, I'll make that a motion. I'll motion second, Mayor. To adopt items number two and three, and was that seconded by Commissioner Wisman? Wisman. Okay. Uh, is there any discussion? All right. Seeing none, clerk, please call the roll. Mr. Waldridge? Um, I will vote no and I will explain my vote as I do not. Mayor May. Uh, yes, motion is adopted. So we'll take a quick pause while our staff. Uh, makes arrangements to go in a closed session. We're ready to go. Okay. So we're we're back in open session now. Um, and we're going to uh, rather than take any kind of action tonight, we're going to call a special meeting for tomorrow on Thursday, August the 13th at 7 p.m. We'll send out the uh, appropriate information and notice and it will just be to adopt or, or consider adoption of an order uh, making an appointment to uh, to fill the vacancy uh, in the city manager's position, either as acting or interim city manager. Commissioner Walbridge. Um, I just had some questions. I was going to wait till you finish. I just wanted to raise my hand to be acknowledged. Uh, OK, um, so we're doing this order for Tommy tomorrow at what time? 7 p.m. At 7 p.m. I just wanted to make sure I got that right. Um, That'll be the only so, thing. Yeah, no, I just have a couple of questions. I can just run down through them real quick. Um, is Tommy still on? Yes. Okay, there's questions. I just want to throw some questions out there to see. Um, Tommy, how much time um, is... Let me ask the city attorney. I don't know that... I certainly don't care, but I just want to make sure we don't file anything. Can we ask, I don't know that we can ask specific questions. I think that we can as long as he's willing to, to answer them if it's related to this. Right, it is, thank you. Um, um, how much time right now um, you would say as emergency management, as an emergency management person that is COVID related right now, how much of your time? Okay. Um, Mayor, in case of a tornado or maybe even this pandemic really taking a dive down for, um, you know, to go further and actually worsen for the city, um, do you think that it's really okay to make a decision for Tommy to step in this position as a city manager, knowing that something else could happen that could be greater for Frankfurt? Well, since we have two deputy emergency management directors, we have a staff of three uh, sworn directors 
um, that can do that. And that's, in fact, that's how we do it now because the, those positions are not full time. They are uh, considered, they're, um, we consider them seasonal or it's either mm -hmm. classified as seasonal, I think. And they're only allowed to, to be paid for nine months of service per year. So we're already currently in a process to where three months out of each year, uh, one of the three are having to be off. So we've already got uh, in our emergency operations plan for continuity of government and continuity of operations. Those are already spelled out. Okay. Um, mayor, and this is for the mayor. Um, have you spoken with the judge in relation to us making this position and knowing that Tommy sort of serves in a shared position with the county? Have you discussed, um, you know, pulling him in emergency situation from that? Have you discussed to see how he would feel about that or, you know, the county would feel? No, I have not. So we okay. just we made this decision, uh, what, a couple of minutes ago. Oh, we haven't actually made ago. Oh, a couple of minutes ago. Okay. Um, also, another question uh, for Wisman. Uh, uh, Mr. Commissioner Wisman, what qualifications do you uh, are you basing your decision on on the nomination of Tommy? Commissioner Wisman, I don't think I'll divulge that just yet. Okay. Um, Since we're still considering uh, the nomination, we've taken no official action as yet. Okay, I'll save it for tomorrow. No worries. Um, sure. Commissioner Tippett, I know that you are a Frankfurt resident that is loved by everyone in Frankfurt and, and your family stays here very uh, for a long time. So you are aware of Tommy for many, many years in the past. How do you um, how do you feel that um, and why do you feel that Tommy would serve tomorrow if we appoint tomorrow um, in that position? How do you think that he would serve and why do you feel he would serve well in that position? I've known Tommy since we were in high school together at Frankfurt High School. He was a, a scholar. He was an outstanding athlete. He was the leader on championship uh, sports teams. Uh, he excelled in athletics. He excelled in leadership. Uh, he had an illustrious career in the Frankfurt Fire Department. We talked about him saving people's lives uh, in stressful situations. Uh, we've seen him rise to meet uh, uh, situations that would, would stress anybody. Uh, I have the utmost confidence in him being able to provide a, a smooth transition uh, and provide some continuity uh, for the community and for our staff because he's been working hand in glove with these department heads and the chiefs we have. Uh, for a very long time, and he's in constant communication with these things, so he has intimate knowledge of the organization. Uh, I have no doubt about his ability to lead, um, and it just makes sense that we're in this pandemic that he can coordinate these two uh, uh, separate issues and, and make them make them seamless, and and provide a level of comfort and safety. Uh, and provide for the well-being of the community and the staff from a unique position that he he alone has. Um, and he does, as I forget which one of you guys mentioned, you know, he's got a <laughs> he's got a lot of experience in the, I won't speak to his age, but he's got <laughs> a lot of experience uh, in the community and he's he, he's deeply respected by a large portion of the people who've had any contact with him. So mm -hmm. I, I am more than comfortable in allowing him to do this for, you know, which is really a short amount of time. I appreciate that, Commissioner Tippett. That's why I chose you to answer that question. I have one more, I guess, a brief comment, Mayor, um, to Tommy. You know, Tommy, um, I've grown to love and respect you. I think you have done an amazing job as our emergency management director. I think you've really kept us safe. Your communication is stellar with everyone that's involved with COVID. Um, and so I just applaud you. I appreciate you. Every time I've called, you've gotten back with me in no time as far as emergency uh, things in the situation uh, for the city. So I do thank you for your service as emergency uh, management director. Um, and then to tag on that for my last comment, you know, I, I, you know, I, I'm glad that you're able to step up in this position. I'm really surprised that you would want to step up in this position. <laughs> I think I would think COVID was enough for you. 
But um, what I can say is, you know, I just wish you the best of luck as you as you see that you have the votes. But, you know, just be cautious as, you know, I, I don't know if I can support this position. I support you definitely as emergency manager, you know that. Um, but I don't know if I could support that tomorrow um, just because of our emergency, our pandemic. And I feel like this is still riding on uh, Commissioner Wisman and the mayor's personal agendas. And I just don't see how they would want such a great man that is well respected by the community uh, and loved by the community and everyone to be put, to be drawn in this position uh, of that. So thank you. That's my last. Mr. Yeah, Mayor, I, I just want to reiterate those comments, actually, Commissioner Waldridge. I, um, until we vote, I, I won't state anything much more than that. I'm um, very appreciative, Mr. Russell, for your willingness to step up. Um, I don't believe the community knows the level of impact and work that you've been providing on all fronts um, to this this emergency declaration and and what we've been dealing with for the last five months. I have. Um, no one on staff I have more respect for than you, and I am uh, thankful that you're you're willing to provide some consistency and continuation of of the job that you've been doing for so many months uh, to help us through this period of of transition. So, um, Mayor, I'd like to also ask if I may have a a point of personal privilege for a moment. Um, you may, and I'm gonna. I need to respond. To Good. I can wait if you prefer. Oh, you said you have to go. Please go. Okay, um, Mayor. You know, there. Um, unfortunately, one of our commissioners has um, been out. Um, uh, Laura, I don't think this is on the agenda. I think we're steering away from the agenda. Mayor, I think we're steering away from the I agenda. Think, um, it's not on the agenda, uh, Laura. Could you please give anyway. us? Some Mayor intentionally Laura, and willfully perpetuating on, on the agenda. If it's not on the agenda, we don't need to hear it. Okay, Commissioner, uh, while you're out of order, but let me let me say just as a point of uh, clarification, I'll I'll ask the uh, sorry, Commissioner Wilson, if she interrupted you. Uh, I think as the chair, I'm going to allow. And if a member wants to challenge that, they may. But I'm going to ask Miss Ross uh, briefly to. Take a point gonna, of from a commissioner. Let's take a point of personal privilege. Um, we can be challenged on it. We can be challenged on it if it's not on the agenda. I just want you all to be aware of that. Okay. And and um, is there commissioner Wisman, is there any kind of thing you're gonna ask for any kind of action by the board? I'm not gonna take any action or or ask any questions. Just a statement. Sure. Um, I will allow it. Uh, since we've Thank you, sir. similar things in the past. Mayor, just as I was saying, um, one of our commissioners has willfully and intentionally perpetuated false information, and uh, particularly about my residency, um, which just is mind boggling, but this is the, uh, the reality show that uh, this commissioner wants this to be. So I just wanted to uh, show a copy of my driver's license here. And uh, Mrs. Ross, could you verify that I met with you earlier today and that I provided substantive information that I do reside in the city, including leases, driver's license, uh, billing statements for the last three years and otherwise? Um, yes. And um, Mrs. Waldridge, you have you've now uh, created a legally liable um, situation with comments and it's uh, if you're going to ask an individual commission, I can't allow that. No, he just did, and I just need it what I need it for my legal. But thank you, my lawyer's listening. <laughs> thank you. I'm, I'm sorry, Commissioner Westman. I, I can't. You can take a point for personal privilege, but I couldn't allow you to ask another member of the body. I didn't um, ask anything, Mayor. Thank you. Okay, I couldn't tell. I just I just wanted to be sure. I'm sorry to interrupt. Commissioner, was that all you? Is that your yes, point? Yes, I'm finished. Privilege? Thank you. Thank you. And I wanted to say too, uh, since someone said that I had a personal agenda, absolutely uh, was not my uh, uh, message to anyone that to uh, appoint Mr. Russell in this position. That did not come from me, um, and it was it was brought to me, and I, I approved it. So that's fine with me. I would allow that to happen 
as the uh, as the mayor and being the person over emergency response for the city uh, that I would allow that. So there's no personal or hidden agenda there. I have continued and I will continue to serve with fierce integrity and openness as I've done since I've been in office. Um, I do appreciate you clarifying that. Thank you. I was not aware that someone brought it to you. So thank you for clarifying that. So okay. since someone brought it to you, could you share that in an email to me? It'd be great. Thanks. Uh, actually, you know, I think there were multiple commissions that talk about it. I, I don't even remember uh, when that first came up. I can, I can, I'm not that I can't remember right now, but I can surely uh, address. I think you've heard three members of the commission talk about uh, their confidence in uh, Mr. Russell's ability to manage all situations and his relationship with staff, I think is important. So uh, we'll just move on. And if there's no other business, there is no other business. So we'll handle a motion for adjournment. I move to adjourn. Mayor, I just wanted to say. I move uh, to adjourn. It's on uh, the floor. Is there a, is there there a second? A, sorry, Commissioner Wisman. Did you say you second? No. Or you did not say. Okay. Yes, oh, I made the motion to move to adjourn, and then Sauer spoke after me. But that's right. I'm the woman. I'm the black woman on the commission. So of course you wouldn't second. I just said I recognize your motion, and I said, "Is there a second?" I'm not referring to you, Mayor. I respected that. I was listening to Eric. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, her motion, uh, Mayor, of course, takes precedence over. Uh, uh, is, there, is there a motion? I mean, a second. Second. Okay, Commissioner Tippett, second. Okay, is there a discussion? Any discussion? Seeing none, uh, clerk, please call the roll. Can't hear you. Sorry. I think you're Sorry. Ready. I'm working on the agenda for tomorrow night at the same time. That's okay. <laughs> We thank you, Shermay. <laughs> Commissioner Waldridge? Yes. Commissioner Tippett? Yes. Commissioner Wisman? Yes. Commissioner Sauer? Yes. Mayor May? Yes, we're adjourned. Thank you all very much.